What up, what up, what up, Unbreakable Kicks Army. If you missed the video yesterday, I gave y'all a tad bit of information regarding the Air Jordan 1, Travis Scott, OG High. So if you are still interested in that sneaker, like your boy here, make sure you go and check that video out. Also, I got a crazy story time for the Air Jordan 1, Travis Scott, OG High. Once I get my personal pair, I will tell y'all this story because I'm telling y'all, God works in mysterious ways. Now, if you're new over here or if you're old over here, I need you to smash that thumbs up. Smash your thumbs up for your boy. It helps the video go a long way. And also, subscribe to the channel. We almost at 210K. 210K. Let's get an army. So, smash that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Before I even get to this quick unboxing, it's something that I want to get off my chest. And we've spoken on this a couple times during the lives. And I just, ah, this just really gets under my skin. Now, before I get on my soapbox, I want to let y'all know that I did get a W on the Ducks. That just dropped them all black Ducks. I don't know exactly what those are going to do down the line. I'm just surprised that the undefeated Ducks ain't really busting like most undefeated shoes would. Maybe it's gonna take some time, but right now I got the canteens and I got the all black pair. I think I'm just missing a blue pair to complete the set. So, and I had a feeling. I had a feeling. It was the same exact feeling I had when I hit the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Lowe's. You know, I was just sitting and I'm just like, I'm about to hit these shoes. So, that's, that's a good feeling. Hopefully I continue to have this feeling throughout the entire year. One thing that gets under my skin, and I posted a picture yesterday regarding a couple shoes that were sitting at a mall in Dallas. I just found out that that was Parks Mall. I've been to Parks Mall a couple times when I'm in and out of Dallas. And they had the Jordan 1 Pollen sitting. They had the um, Obsidian 13 sitting. And they had maybe like one or two other shoes that were sitting as well. Shadow Backboard 5s, I believe. And um, people calling these shoes bricks. Now, Here's my thing on that word brick. I hate that word brick. And the reason why I hate that word brick, and if y'all go back, y'all can watch my lives, and whenever somebody say a shoe is a brick, it gets under my skin because why dog a shoe because you cannot resell it? That's my main thing about resellers. I got a degree in reselling, okay? So I'm not sitting here like I've never resold or I'm anti-resale. It's your money, it's your shoes, you do whatever you want to do with them. But it's that terminology of a shoe being a brick because you can't make $50 on a shoe. Ain't no way in heck you are gonna sit and call an Air Jordan 1 pollen a brick because it's sitting on the shelf. Jordan 1 pollens is still top 10 Air Jordan want to drop this year. To be honest, they just dropped them at a bad time. You dropping pollens and lightness kind of close together, you really got to pick and choose which way you're going to go with. And that honestly goes with all of these Air Jordan 5s that's been dropping lately as well. You got the Oreo 5s, you got the Shadow Backboard 5, and you got the Bluebird 5s that's dropping on the 7. So you got to pick and choose unless you like an Air Jordan 5 lover and you want them all. You know what I'm saying? But this terminology breaks so many times in the sneaker community that I wish in 2022, we just leave it in 2021. The terminology break, like, I don't know who came up with this, but it's literally a shoe that is not reselling. You can have an Air Jordan 11 bread sitting on the shelf for a year, and Muzz will call it a brick. It's the Air Jordan 11 bread. Again, that's my main thing about resellers. Or maybe not even resellers, new resellers. That if you can't make $50 on a shoe, $100 on a shoe, it's a brick. Like, bro, come on, y'all. Like, honestly, that is one word that I really, really hope that we can just get rid of. It could be the ugliest shoe. Like these right here. These knit runners. To me, these are probably one of the ugliest shoes I've seen. But mugs are not calling these bricks. And this mug is shaped like a brick. Mugs not calling these a brick. Why? Because they're going two times over retail value. I don't get it. I don't get these new sneaker heads, these new sneaker resellers. Like, I don't get y'all at all. Because the same people that's calling this shoe a brick, if Obama or Kanye or Drake or somebody was to rock this shoe and then it goes up $100, $150 in value, you run into the store to go grab these bricks all of a sudden. So please stop it again, Army. I know I'm on my soapbox. Y'all know when I get on my soapbox, I talk. But gee, that's all, y'all. I, I just really had to get that out, man. Like, y'all calling the Jordan 1 Pollens bricks. 
because they ain't reselling for a hundred dollars y'all tripping on to these right here now i'm sure somebody's gonna probably call these right here a brick but i've been interested in these and i've never had a pair of these but i do have another pair of these on the way because i just feel like these are like a decent little like fall shoe to actually add into your arsenal of rotation these are also a shoe that i would wear to like walmart or something like y'all always like break why you don't wear the pe's and this and that like again i tell you i'm not wearing no pe's to walmart or to the movies but i'll wear these to walmart <laughs> or to the movies and i gotta give a huge shout out to my boy travis davis a member of the army i was live y'all i want to say the live that i recently just did and in the lab i mentioned like i took an l on these shoes right here but i actually want them so my man travis hit me up in the dm say break i got a size 11 coming straight from sneakers app you can have them so with that being said shout out to travis he gave me these joints for retail and checking out the box y'all can see like i've never even seen the jordan ones come in this box right here but it's a pretty dope little new box label reese ajko one colorway is storm blue black white Retail was 140 and this is a size 11. And in my head, I'm wondering why are these joints right here considered bricks? And in my head, I'm wondering like, why ain't nobody going crazy for the AJKOs? Is it because they not going for a crazy amount? And I recently just did a trade on trade block and I got the Chicago pair coming as well. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I've yet to see anybody wear a pair of the AJKOs. And we gotta remember, AJKOs are OG. 1985 OG. Again, I did a trade on trade block. I got the Chicago pair. That pair is actually landing today. So I got the Chicago pair. I got the Storm Blue pair. And I actually like these, man. If you were to rock these, you would definitely need your rejuvenated water stain repellent because this has like a canvas material, a canvas upper. So if you drop anything, any dirt, any stains, it's definitely gonna stick into this shoe. So if you do plan on rocking these or copping these, I highly recommend that you get the rejuvenated water stain repellent. I do got my rejuvenated link in the description section below. You click on it, it'll give you 10% off at checkout and that's for all rejuvenated products. Now these joints are decent. I probably will keep the black laces in. I ain't that big on like switching out laces and things like that, but just overall, this look like a decent little fall shoe. If you don't wanna rock your Storm Blues, if you don't want to rock your OG Royals or your OG Chicago's, I don't see nothing wrong with these. And again, I don't see people wearing them either. Maybe these are trash in a lot of people's opinion, but I just feel like I've been on a different little vibe as of late. I feel like for the longest, I've just been strictly on the Air Jordan silhouettes that I love, 1 through 14, and I haven't given any of the other ones a try. That's why I like with the Air Jordan 1 Lows. I've been digging the Air Jordan 1 Low. Believe it or not, I was actually looking to see if I could find the Brett Lows, the Shadow Lows. I got the Royal Lows already. Keep it a buck. The Lows, they easy to slip on and they just as comfortable with wearing a pair of highs. So in my eyes, do people not rock the AJKOs because they look at them like they on the same level as Air Jordan 1 Mids. Air Jordan 1 Mids literally get no respect. And I feel like the AJKOs, these are probably gonna end up in the outlet. I won't be surprised if they do. I was honestly surprised that I even took an L on them on sneakers app because again, you don't see a lot of people rocking them and most sneaker events, you don't see people having no AJKOs on their table. So it's just like, where are all the AJKOs? These should be an easy pickup. But to be honest, I definitely think that people look at these just like a pair of mids. I ain't even gonna lie, these joints don't get no respect, but you gotta rock what you like. Like everybody has their own preference. But if you like Air Jordan 1 Mids, rock Air Jordan 1 Mids. If you like Lowe's, well Lowe's. Do not get hypnotized to the trends of the sneaker community. Because if everybody was wearing what's cool, a lot of us would be wearing knit runners and a lot of people would be rocking phone runners and a lot of people would just be rocking Travis Scott's and just Air Jordan 1's or just dunk lows like you gotta step out the box if you are one of them people who a probably can't afford to pay resale on a pair of air jordan ones or a pair of dunk and the best thing that you can get is a pair of jordan one mids rock the mids and hold your head up high because at the end of the day i know where i started at and i ain't start rocking dior's you know what i'm saying i started off with team jordans flight 45 spizites dub zeros etc so lead this to say, Army, be you, rock whatever you want to rock, and just keep it moving. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vault. Unbreakable Army stand strong like always. And most important, remember, remain humble. And we out.